dark, gothic shadows. This cannot continue. These so-called monster-hunting heroes roaming the countryside have made it all but impossible for me. Barnabas Jones, King of the Undead and Lord of the Night, to even leave my ancestral home. Let alone find a maiden on which to quench my unending thirst for blood. No, I cannot bear it any longer. But what can I do? If I leave Joneswood, I'll be quickly found and dispatched by those ruffians. A few I can handle, but my safety lies in my ability to stay in the shadows. If they find me, they'll discover my resting place and dispatch me with ease. Hmm. I will have to risk using my powers to summon a maiden queen. Come to me. Come to me. I am in your dreams, and you will obey my commands. Come to me. Come to me. That's it. Come to me. You cannot resist my power. Welcome, my dear. Welcome. No one can resist my power. Do you know what I desire? I have a pretty good idea. Don't even think about making that girl into another vampire bride. But darling, I wasn't. I was only going to have a little taste. My hunger is ravenous. I'll give you ravenous. You'd better go find yourself a nice cow to snack on or I'll drive a stake into you myself. The, the poor girl was lost. And I've summoned her a cab. We were going to play a game to pass the time while we waited. I am your wife and I know your games. Guess we'll be sleeping in the dirt tonight. No, no. A, a simple card game, my dear. Uh, here it is. Uh, I was just going to show her how to play. Yes. Play. Fine. I'll join you. Show us how to play this, this game. Of course, of course. Here's how it works. Let's take a quick look at dark gothic colonial horror and what you can expect inside the box. Here's the rules. Since it's a standalone, it has all of the base game rules, plus the few expansion rules in here. Full color. Nicely done. And we have now the divider cards, which you can also use with the base game. See, it's all nicely divided out here. And we have a little section for villains and heroes. We have a blue omen die this time. Ooh, 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 fancy. Let's take a look at some of the heroes. For example, we have Sarah, the Bright Witch, the Keeper of the Tarot Wand. Wind. Yeah, wind. <laughs> Discard a card from hand to protect a card. Prevent it from being destroyed. Limit once per hero's turn. That actually comes in handy. Protect is a new keyword in this set. And lots of cards get destroyed. There's some minions that actually destroy cards every time they're played. So, this little protect ability, well, that comes in a bit handy. Here's Thomas Harrow. Harrow? Uh, his abilities, all allies cost you one less mana of one color to acquire, which is kind of nice. When drawing a shocking discovery, take two and choose which to use, which also can be kind of nice. There's five in all. We also have new villains. Let me show you the Fell Reaper here, because his ability, his fight ability, the Fell Reaper requires an extra colorless mana to defeat for every ally in the crypt. Not good. And you see this little circle, red circle around the colorless mana, I called it, well, resource. Uh, that means that any one that you play gets destroyed. That's the curse. So each uh, card that you have to play in order to finish defeating this dude will uh, will be destroyed. Each extra card that you have to play as a result of this. And of course they all have their own global abilities. At the start of each hero's turn, destroy the top card of the main deck. If there's no cards left in the main deck, the villain wins. Not good. Here's the promo card, the Harbinger of Death. Uh, that comes with uh, if you pre-order the game. And he's pretty cool. He's a 
level 3 villain. Uh, let's see, what else? The Black Hound of Norfolk. If you fight him, you get to draw 3 cards. Nice. But all ghost minions require an extra resource to defeat of some color. Now, card-wise, you've got a few new things in this. Uh, this is gear here. You notice it says, discard to protect a card, prevent it from being destroyed. If you do, draw a card. Or, draw two cards and discard a card. So you can use it to either protect a card from being destroyed, or you can use it for its other ability to draw two cards and then discard one. The Lightning Strike. These are new. When these come out from the main deck, you destroy any cards adjacent to the Lightning Strike in the center line, and then add this card to the shadows. Well, so, immediately, pow! I think there's four of these in the deck. It comes out, it destroys cards next to it, which, of course, forces you to draw more cards, and then this one goes into the shadows, adding to the dreaded shadows. We now have keys! Yes, there are now keys, and keys basically get destroyed when you use them. Take a random... this is the town key. Take a random card from the shadows into your hand and destroy this card when played. And books. We also have books now. The Holy Book. Roll the Omen die and gain blue resources equal to the roll. That's kind of nice to have, don't you think? These are roaming minions. And the way roaming minions work is that when they come out on the center line, each player's turn they're going to move one further towards the shadows in the center line. And if they make it out of the shadows, then are out of the center line, they go into the shadows pile, which of course makes your shadows increase a lot faster. And here's another example, the Wandering Spirit, who also has the roaming power. And every time, or when you fight her, every hero must destroy a card from her hand. Let me go to pick her up. Mm. Hey, wandering Spirits. Wandering so far. That's just a basic look at the new stuff that comes in the Colonial Horror expansion to Dark Gothic. It can be played standalone or with the base game. Dark Gothic Colonial Horror is the first expansion to the Dark Gothic deck building game from Flying Frog Productions. This is a standalone expansion, so you can play a two to three player game with the expansion to get some experience with the new cards before combining it with the base game. The cards have an expansion symbol on them in case you want to separate them back out again. If you want to know more about the base game, you can see my review of the original Dark Gothic by clicking the link on the screen. I'll put it up again at the end of the review. Great news with this expansion. There are now divider cards to separate your decks in the box nicely, with plenty of extras to use with the original game included as well. This was something that I mentioned in my original review, and I'm glad they decided to add them. Colonial Horror fits easily into the base game box, and there's still some room to spare. There are new cards in every category, with the bulk of them getting added to the main deck. New heroes include such like Inspector Cook, who gets a free cunning resource each turn, and Anne-Marie, the school teacher, who has the awesome ability to destroy a card from your hand and gain a training card, which lets you keep your deck lean and mean. New villains include cards like the Strigoi Vampire, the Fell Weeper, and the Weatherstone Gargoyle. If you pre-order the expansion, you'll get the exclusive Harbinger of Death Villain promo card which you might recognize as the big bad from Flying Frog's Shadows of Brimstone, Swamps of Death game. If you thought he was tough in Shadows of Brimstone, wait until you have to defeat him here. Which brings me to an interesting point. As players are aware, there is a pile of cards that is built up during the game called the Shadows. And if at any point there is ten or more cards in the Shadows pile, all of the players lose and the game is over. With the base game, it was all but impossible for the players to actually lose the game. We would go for an entire game with only one or two cards ending up in the Shadows pile. That has changed with this expansion. Some of the new villains have effects that directly impact the Shadows pile, and there's a new ability that minions in the center line can have called Roaming, which slowly moves them down the center line each turn until they're placed in the Shadow pile once they move past the end of the line, similar to a villain escaping in the Marvel Legendary deck building game. The new Lightning Strikes cards are also adding themselves to the Shadow Pile once they are revealed. So suddenly, there's a real danger of everyone losing to the villain, which I like because it's more thematic. So you're not just playing another deck building game to get the most points, but instead now you're also fighting against time to complete the game before the villain takes you all out. Also, there is a much greater chance of one or more of your cards getting destroyed in this expansion. So they've added cards with a new Protect keyword, which you can use to prevent a valuable card from being destroyed. 
These cards can help protect you against other cards that have the new Cursed ability, which forces you to destroy some of the cards you play in order to defeat or otherwise acquire that card. Overall, if you'd like Dark Gothic, this expansion adds more horror and more fun to the original game. I'd still like to see some villains get their own villain-specific decks, but I'm not sure how they would do that at this point. Maybe every other card drawn could come from the villain deck instead of the main deck, or something like that. Eventually, they will need to do something. Otherwise, with a few more expansions, you'll have this huge main deck towering precariously in the center of the table. But we'll see. Thank you for joining me in this review of the Colonial Horror Expansion to the Dark Gothic Deck Building Game from Flying Frog Productions. Please, please, let me know if you found this review helpful, and leave a comment, or send me an email at Elliot underscore Miller at voiceofe.com. Or, you know, send me a text, or, you know, carry a pigeon, something like that. Make sure to subscribe to the Voice of E channel on YouTube, as I'll have a lot more entertaining thematic game reviews and board game giveaways, and you won't want to miss any of that. Right? Yes, well, please tell your friends to subscribe to the Voice of E channel, and your cousins, your third cousins, and hopefully they will subscribe too. And remember, keep your mind. Free. Finest Jones! Oh. <sighs> Get me that signal. We need more power.